Hi Tads, I'm Reinhardt and I have a question to ask. How can D-Day and the Large Hadron Collider help us feed the world in 2050? It all started off on D-Day. On D-Day, 1 million troops and 67,000 people uh, vehicles were landed within one day and which was a real logistical nightmare. But this event led to the development of a particular mathematical technology called least cost formulation. Least cost formulation is about optimizing diets based on lowest cost, highest quality, but we can also do the logistics and allocation and calculate the impact of reducing or recycling waste streams. Now in 2013, right now we have 7 billion people on the planet, 800 million people are under, underfed, and we have one third of our food daily basis being wasted. In 2050, however, we will probably have 9 billion people on the planet, but we would like to have zero people underfed and reduce the waste as much as possible. Now, to do that, in comes the LHC. The LHC is looking for the, the Higgs boson, and it does that by doing 600 million collisions a second of subatomic particles. And this Higgs boson was found by only finding 1,000 measurements over a one-year operation. Now, the thing is, the LHC led to the development of new supercomputing techniques. It works with an open network of data, and it allows to do a lot of nonlinear calculations at the same time. And that's where the value prop comes in. The idea is that if you combine whatever we learn out of D-Day and at least cost formulation as it is applied in animal nutrition nowadays, and we combine that with LHC where they have all kinds of internet technology and computing power, that we could lead, or let's say build, a value stream supply chain where we could build a trade network of waste streams. So we could have a waste stream trade network where we have a cradle to cradle concept where people and companies exchange their waste to make new and better food products. But it would also allow us to find alternative nutrition resources and simulate and implement the impact of environmental policies on the entire supply chain. If you're more interested in hearing about that, Vote for me for TEDx Bin in Half in 2014. Thank you. I'm Reinhardt.